change here Let's go I'm unstoppable Do the impossible I'm irresponsible Yet I'm phenomenal I got an arsenal I'm dropping bombs, you know No, I'm not stopping, no Conquer the obstacle To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken I can hear the tick-tock of the clock, I'm in motion So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion Yeah, sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Really? Clara, I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. La Moral has a bad rep and I don't no, want Libertas no. need to be dragged down with them. I'll keep my eyes open. I won't have a junkie yeah. in my car. There's my baby G. What's up? Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Moral was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud, sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the bio vida to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby tigre. And we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filters. Oh, I don't. I don't want to hear that ever again coming from his fucking mouth. I don't even fucking say that. So yeah. Oh. Hi. How's it going? You're gonna get fucked tonight. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits, until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that BioVira place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep on talking. Gracias. I'm worried something... doing with the bodies the fuck
sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place. Let's like that get in there. All of this bullshit about treating cancer. What? They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more pigs. This is some fucked up bullshit. What is going on here? You know their names. You heard them whisper at the dinner table. Or during a game of dominoes. You Those look like gauges. But for what? Doing to this board. I need more picks. Is this what they're doing to all the outcasts? on duty. What is that red smoke? Fuck you. There's something under the water. What the fuck is in the lake? This should be enough to go against Lorenzo. Tigre, I got the pics. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. Let's go. Just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Horon was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste? That's the end. You should be three. Shoot the tree. What the fuck does that mean? No, I'm being serious. What the fuck does shoot the tree mean? I hate that so many of these... What the fuck? Come 
back to El Agujero. She is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. I'll deal with that later. Fast travel. Mother. Oh, Shadow would be happy. Nice work with that rescue. I Thanks. Yeah, guys, we better hurry up. I just killed. I just killed somebody. <laughs> What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez, Bermudez, Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups! Are the first step to victory. The Grand <laughs> Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. You need Carlito. Push ups never lie. I'm I <laughs> I'm being I'm being honest, I love President Castillo. Three missions. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going with you first, baby girl. You just cut your hand. There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan. And I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Got it. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Knuckleball. I'll 
apologize to Kiber. I like these young Darius. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran Turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Gar Castillo has many bullets, but we will... I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Then he... Airdrop. A lot of airdropping in this one. Hey, Danny, you recruit those farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can Fucking go to the beach coconuts. while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Horron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. Hola. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Finger. I thought this day would never come. We need to piece off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. Give me a horsey. Be nice, horse. Yeah. Get done with three mission. Get done with these three missions. Once I'm done, I'll edit. No using us enough. When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass, fucking up the convoy, taking whatever they're carrying, and fighting with Honron. Dio mio, you're ready. I have been waiting to get the go ahead for months. <laughs> Vamonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. And now, last one. Don't worry, I'm a friend. Mm. 
wall now. You look like la moral. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Sí. Yep. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! Vamos! Just look at America. Yeah, thanks. I got it. Heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now, so watch the roads. Okay. All right, let's see. special weapon is there. The girl really did go for fucking the gold. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Hola, baby tigre. El tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends, but Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. Is Carlito a fucking tank? 
Por supuesto. What were you expecting? He's Carlito. <laughs> Is Carlito a fucking tank? Carlito, a fucking tank! That was gold. Fuck you. Adios reinforcements. Hmm. Camera. Castillo makes me ashamed to be young. Enjoying your tour? Yep. I know the time. Drop the body. Question on your mind. You got me here. Ooh. Can't believe I left my phone and I get at home. Come on, I don't bite. Este es un mensaje del presidente. Up, Danny. And good night. I love this tank. It's a it has a fucking from the beginning, Carlito was a tank.
It has a fucking fight tower! Oh, that's bullshit. Lobo. Listen, I love another story about you, Lobo, the legends, Dodo, but I'm busy right now. Yeah, you're right. Carlito must have his revenge. We're almost there. You came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. Or Come on! When we are all free. Hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on. <laughs> I'm not a hugger. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting? Oh, well. When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. Alright, last one for today. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of. I 
wish he was here. There we go. I think I'm getting closer and closer to the end of the game. Driving up to the hotel. I could sneak you past the. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. Got it. Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Why do I got a feeling that I'm about to get betrayed by somebody? <laughs> oh, her. Yeah, fuck that. I thought I was about to go <laughs> go silent and kill people. So... Dentist is dead. La morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They've tortured their last guerrilla here. You swear you're not La Morale, Danny? I'm just saying.
took it over. Come here. <laughs> What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy. And I helped her with the strategy. She's got decades of experience around a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Senor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. and picked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, sí, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. We pissed her off. And that's a fact. Was that the woman from Shrek? I'm not joking. Was that the woman from Shrek? I'll tell her key. Would you do me a favor? No. All this dust is terrible for my... All right, my Saiyans, if you guys like this video, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit that bell button to be notified. I'm Phoenix Vegeta, and I'll catch you Saiyans in the next video. Peace!